The sun bathes the earth in enough energy in one hour to provide the energy needs of everyone living on the earth for an entire year. Photovoltaic panels collect sun and turn it into electricity. And as I turn the panel away from the sun, the flow of the water, you will notice, slows down until finally it stops because the panel is facing away from the sun at this moment. So uh, the way that you so determine like the size of a, this, an array, this look at the label on the back of the panel for the peak watts. The house, In this case, those panels are BP panels, mm -hmm. British mm -hmm. Petroleum, mm -hmm. and they're 170 watts. And so there's 10 panels there. It doesn't matter if they're hooked up in uh, parallel or series, still the watts are always the same. So 10 panels, uh, 170 watts per panel. 1700 watts, that's a 1.7 kilowatt array over there. Um, the efficiency of a panel at collecting sunlight is 12%, 12 to 15% these, these particular days, and uh, as opposed to solar thermal, which can be as high as 50 to 60% efficiency in terms of gathering the sun and turning it into energy. And their lifespan is something like uh, 20 to 30 years, quoted by manufacturers. The thing to understand is that the performance uh, degrades over 20, over 20 to 30 years, so maybe you're getting 20% less performance after about 15 years, and that continues to degrade. Cost has been coming down dramatically. A few years ago, panels cost $5 to $7 per watt, and now you can buy them for 2 to $3 a watt. In the winter time, uh, you've probably observed that the sun is laying pretty low in the sky, and it stays there for most of the winter. And then in the summer, uh, passing through the fall, and uh, rather through the spring uh, season, the sun is high in the sky and it stays there for a long time. You must understand how the sun is so that it will perform for you uh, optimally all year round. So I want you to sense it with your hands, not just thinking it with your brain. Ready? Is that good learning? Learning is happening.